Hi everyone, Share Technology, Share Life. Today I would like to share a very good news with you. I received feedback from some friends that after updating to the latest version of Harmony OS 2.0.0.235, Huawei's P50 Pro already can install the native Google GMS normally. So if your Huawei P50 Pro could not successfully install the native Google GMS before, now you can upgrade to the latest Harmony OS 2.0.0.235 and install the native Google GMS again according to the method I shared before. The video link of the installation tutorial, I will put it in the video description down below. After successfully installing the Google GMS, if you continue to receive alarms said that this device is not Google Play Protect certified, please follow the second video in this video description down below to try to resolve the alarm. If you still receive alarms after the operation, please try to solve it according to the third video tutorial in this this video description down below. Finally, please follow the fourth video in this video description to turn off the background automatic update function of the Google GMS to avoid any trouble in future. Okay, let's take a look on my Huawei phone. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. This is my desktop. Let's check my settings here and go to the system and update and software update. You can see I'm, the, I'm using the Nova 6 5G and I'm now updated to the latest Harmony OS 2. And uh, click this blue, uh, this blue, those blue words, your software is up to date. Click that one. And you can see I'm using the 2.0.0.219. This is my Nova 6, but for your own, uh, for your P50 Pro, you need to upgrade to the latest version of 2.0.0.235. So, which means here you need to upgrade to 2.3.5 for your P4 for your P50 Pro. Then you can uh, install the native Google GMS according to the video I just showed in this video uh, description down below. Okay, that is important information that you need to take care that you need to upgrade your P50 Pro to the latest Harmony OS 2.0.0.235, the latest version. Okay, okay, then you can click the first video link down below this video description to, according to that tutorial, you can install the native Google GMS onto your P50 Pro. But one step I needed to make it clear for you because now it's 2022. Uh, for the Google Fire, which is used to, uh, which is used to automatically install the Google GMS, so the Google Fire is very important here. This Google Fire in the uh, process, but now it's 2022. Uh, we just a little bit different because, uh, for example, I click on the Google Fire, and there will be um, three, one, two, three, three steps. But now, if I click the first step, there will be no feedback. You can see. There's, there will be no feedback because now it's 2022, but the Google Fire can only work in the 2021, 2021. So before you click this uh, zero step one button, then you need to turn your time, your, your phone time to the 2021. Let's go to the system and update and go to the date and the time and go to the set automatically here, switch it off and change the date to 2021, 2021. Click OK and then go back and then go back to the Google Fire. Then click the first step. You can install the, the micro G here. Click that one, click OK. Then you can install the micro G for this uh, first step. Then I will install the micro G. After finished the installation, then we will using the micro G to uh, log in to your um, Google account. Okay, Micro G uh, installed, then we click open. So open the Micro G, then click account to log in to your, uh, to log in to your Gmail. But before the login, then you need to change the daytime back to back to the set automatically. Set here, set automatically to change the date to the current date and time to set automatically to switch on. Then go back to the micro G here. 
go back to the micro G to log in to your Google account. Otherwise, I doubt that you cannot log in to your Google account. Okay, then I click sign in. Then you can sign in to your Google account. Okay, first login crashes, no problem. We try the second login, click your account and click sign in again. Then you can sign in to your Google account. Then your first step can be uh, finished successfully. That's the different, uh, I mean, which is mentioned in the first video tutorials because now it's 2022. So we needed to, they needed to some uh, a little bit different because that, uh, I, I guess that uh, this Google Fi is developed in 2000, is 2020. So 2020, 2021, it works. But now in 2022, it doesn't work. We needed to change the, the uh, your phone time back uh, to the 2021 and back and back to the after you install that uh, uh, micro G then you need to change the your phone time current time to the current date to set it automatically then you can log in to your um, Google account I log into my Google account then click next okay then key your password then click next Okay, then click I agree. Okay, then click back, cancel, back, go here, back, back. So first step is uh, finished. Then you can log in to your second account using the step two or you only one Google account, then you can jump to the step three. Um, then you can according to my previous videos in the in the video description down below to finish the whole process okay uh, go back to this top and other questions I received from the friends from some friends that they failed to install this uh, failed in failed to install Google GMS because uh, or failed to install to finish the Google Fire first step they failed to finish the first step it is because you needed to uh, switch off. Let's go back to the settings. You need to switch off the um, app twin before you using the uh, the Google the Google Fire. You need to switch off the app twin here. App twin. You need to you need to switch off, and uh, you also need to switch off the privacy, the uh, private space. You need also need to switch off the private space. Then before you're using the Google Fire. So you need to switch off the private space and also you need to uh, switch off the uh, the uh, navigation dock. You can search for the dock, then uh, navigation dock, click that one here. You need to switch off the navigation dock set to make the uh, Google Assistant works and Google Fire works. So those three steps you need to uh, finish before you start the whole process of a Google Fire um, to install the Google GMS, okay? So you can uh, install this uh, Google GMS successfully according to those uh, four videos in the down below, in, in this video's description down below for your Huawei P4, P50 Pro. Like my sharing, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe the channel. See you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.